and we are here with racing jason white if you can hear in the background you might you might hear nascar cup cars on track for qualifying jason thank you so much for joining us how are you doing in daytona oh thanks for having me guys uh, oh we're doing really well it's awesome to be around race cars and be here for the cup qualifying and watch things like travis pastrana just uh, qualify on time into the race he's He's about 50 feet away from me, just on cloud nine. So awesome. just watching race car drivers and, and, and race cars on the track is, is cool. Well, and at the world sound... center speed. So that's, that's the best place to have it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For you sure. sound ju- a passionate race fan. You sound just like a race fan. Um, not a driver, which is awesome because that's where we all start. Um, <laughs> You seem to have. Uh... I, I, I've been a race car- I've been a race fan for 49 years, man. I love. Uh, I, I made a mistake coming down here to help DJ Kennington the year that he made it to the Daytona 500. Because once I came here, I kind of said to myself, "Well, that's not very good. I set the bar pretty high. I got to come and do this now." <laughs> so is that where? So let's talk about that because it, yeah. because you do seem to to focus a lot on on Daytona and the trucks and ARCA and, and yeah. Talladega. Is that where that that like I want to go to Daytona really came from? Is that first time there with DJ? Yeah, it really was, and I mean DJ's been a really key part of my career all the way along. As you know, I raced for him a bit. He set up mm-hmm. a he set the deal up with uh, Raymond Brothers Racing for me the very first time when I raced at uh, CT uh, uh, Tire Motorsports Park. So um, then from there, now this will be my 10th or 11th start with Raymond Brothers Racing. So, yeah, really, it's, uh, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a great run with uh, being involved with DJK Racing. And, and I came down here to help mm-hmm. DJ. And, and uh, yeah, it was a great year. He made the race just like Travis just made the race. It was kind of the same sort of ordeal. And, yeah. So I've kind of seen that before. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, you get down here and you start, you start seeing what you're, you, know, you could be capable of. And, uh, you know, we climbed the ladder of, of going to a yeah. medium track. And then we came here for the Arca test. And we ran the Arca car and then yep. we got into the truck. And from there, as they say, it's just kind of history. We, we just uh, seem right. to be able to have some connections here now. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, good. just got it. There I But, yeah, just, uh, you know, being around it, I just realized it's something I wanted to do. And. And uh, a lot of times when I get my mind set on something, I'm pretty determined. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. That's, that's great. And you, and you touched on that, on that working up front to go into a medium track and, and off the air. I wanted to talk, I, I mentioned to you, I wanted to talk about that. You know, you know, you, you're racing at tracks like Delaware or Sunset or Barry Speedway or, or, yeah. you know, Toronto street circuit. And now you're going to, Daytona you know what are what are what's that like how do what's that change like well don't get me wrong I love short track racing now you know I was a track champion at the old uh, Vernon Sunset Speedway um and, and I grew up like yep. my family is my dad is a professional race car driver my brother my cousins my uncles it's just there's 12 of us that race cars so it, it, it people ask me what my favorite racetrack is and I just say the next one and yeah. uh and, yes. and, uh, like, you know I, I feel that just racing cars is a lot of fun I love road racing um, I love the Toronto Indy. I love uh, CTMP. Yeah. You know, Trois Rivières. How can you not love Trois Rivières? Like it's, it's all fun to me. But mm-hmm. um, I seem to have a little bit of a knack. And the and well, last year I was at seventh at the white at the white flag, and uh, we had we lost our air when uh, when Matt Benedetto pulled out from behind us. I lost my air. So I seem yes. to have a little bit of a knack to stay in the position to uh, put myself in a position to have a successful race. So and that's the biggest thing at. Uh, at Daytona and Talladega and now Atlanta. Um, you, it's a restricted rate places. You're wide open. If you burp the throttle, you're, you're going backwards. And, right. and uh, I seem to have a little bit of a knack on that. So uh, that's, that's one floor, of the why I, I, I concentrate on it. Yeah. What's, um, is, what, what, and there's no knocking short track racing, of course. We, we all love all types of racing. This is just a different type of racing, a, a, yeah. a unique type of racing i mean it's completely different to everything else um what was it like to really first time get that draft feel that pull getting sucked up and and just the bobbiting of the car back and forth in the the wind it's it's humbling let's put it that way you don't really realize what it's like until it happens and it's it's like you, you know, when you put your hand up to a, a vacuum cleaner and it sucks your hand on there. It's the same sort of thing when you get close to a to another vehicle. It's it sucks you up so hard 
that you could run over the vehicle in front of you by about you know 10 to 15 miles an hour so it, it, it's it's really you got to have your foot on the just just covering the brake and sometimes tapping it a few times to back off and let it you, you know some guys put burp the throttle I mm-hmm. tend to want to tap the brake because I, I feel if you let the, you know, you burp the throttle and you let it up, it just seems like it takes so long to get that momentum back again. So well, that's I like a, click, click that's the brake. an old, yeah, that's an old, like I remember that in old restrictor plate racing when you'd hear the, them talk about that, the cup guys, they would, they'd never lift off the throttle because they'd, they'd lose their RPM and it took so long to get that back up. They would just drag yeah. the brake because it was, they keep the, that RPM up. That's so cool. And, and um, you guys are on the edge of disaster possible because the next thing you know, a little mistake and then you're yeah. in a parking lot. Well, and it might not be your mistake. And that's right. the thing mm-hmm. is, you know, uh, like I said, last year coming to the line in seventh, there was 14 cars you could throw a blanket on. So it's, you know, it, it might not be your mistake that happens and you just got to always be ready and you got to be ready for an evasive maneuver. So, yeah. What's, um, what was the biggest shock or like, what was the biggest thing that was unexpected that when you got into a pack of other cars? The side drivers. draft. Yeah. Yeah. It's a side draft. Yeah. If you want to draft somebody in front or behind you, that's one thing. Um, if you want to, if you want to start getting into the side draft and it's a whole nother level that you got to be so careful on because you can either a take yourself out or B take the car out or truck out mm-hmm. that you're, you're side drafting off of. But if you do it properly and you do it, uh, you know, effectively, you can, you can pick up two or three miles an hour just by coming up on somebody's door or, and, and side drafting them and then just kind of slowly going back out and you could go up to the next car and you could draft four or five cars off the side and pass them if you do it properly so that was the biggest shock for me as a, you just you just think that you have to stay nose to tail all the time but mm-hmm. sometimes you can get out of line and you can gain some spots by by side drafting so for me that's I've, I've been really working on that the last year or so is it's really working on my side draft and just making sure that I'm comfortable with it and then when it comes time you know put yourself in a position to be on the last lap of the race and uh, you're, you're going to gain positions or go for the win you really got to mm. there, there's only one way to get there and that's that's all all the tools that you got in your toolbox have to come out you got to draft from behind you got to you have somebody drafted behind you you got to be working mm. with them you got to be able to side draft you got to be able to do everything so and you got your uh, spotter really telling you all this and <laughs> trying to work with the other yeah. spotters too and there's a lot of coopetition in some ways sometimes too you're trying to work with there's some guys you're also trying to work with yeah, for sure. And and I got one of the best spotters in the game in Randy Bradshaw. He's been doing this, man, he's been doing this for probably 25, 30 years. And he's got a Southern draw on him. Sometimes I can't understand what he's saying, but I just got to <laughs> believe in him. And, and nice. uh, but no, I, I always say to Randy when, when we're buckling in and we're coming to our in lap, I always, I always say to Randy, you know what, buddy, you're driving this thing and I'm just holding the steering wheel. So you just tell me what direction to steer it. And that's really what it's all about for you know, 80% of the time, you're just relying on listening to what they're saying and what, what you got to do and where you got to go. What's, um, what's the biggest difference between, um, the ARCA car and the, the truck that, that you have to contend with switching back and forth? The ARCA car is basically their old cup cars uh, <laughs> from about five, six years ago and maybe up to 10 years ago. So they actually sucked to the ground. Um, when we were on the pull-down rig the other day at the shop, he was pulling it down and trying to get 16th of an inch, 32nd of an inch wow. of, of seal on the, on the you know, not only the splitter, but all the way down the skirting and everything. And they, they kind of sucked into the ground. And yeah. they're very, they're kind of, they're kind of dirty. Um, with the truck, you're kind of, you got some air underneath you. you. You try not to have as much air underneath you as you can, but you still get air under there and you're breaking a way bigger hole in the air so there's a lot of more air movement and the sound is kind of crazy the sound it almost sounds like you're in a big tunnel because you're you know your greenhouse oh, is just breaking so, cool. so high up in the in the air it's uh you're, you're making a tunnel pretty much in the air wow that is that's really that's really cool so you're you're going here your first year we're going to start uh, I don't want to say at the bottom, but we're going to start lower tier. We'll work our way up for the weekend. Um, this this year, you're with uh, uh, Jeff McClure Racing, right? Uh, That's right. Number... So, Jeff, yeah, 44 car. Jeff uh, mm-hmm. works out of Andy Hillenberg's shop. They have a technical alliance. And uh, right. Andy approached me. I was going to be driving one of his cars. Andy approached me and said, 
you know, hey, I got a way more competitive car that you can drive. It's through Jeff McClure, through our shop. And I jumped at it because I know Jeff and I know his cars are hot rods. And Yeah, I know he, the name for he's sure. He's been at the shop working on this thing and trying to find little things here and there for the last month. The car's been ready. So th- that car, we're, we're ready to hopefully get a good drafting group. In ARCA, you, you, you qualify in five-car packs. So if, you, right. if we can yes. get four other cars that are fast, we want to we want to get the pole. We want to lead laps and we want to win the race. And that's just the goal that we have. And that's the team that we have the ability to do that. And I finally feel that I have the confidence uh, to be able to do that. So, again, it's, you know, we're, we're not going to hang back in that race and, and let attrition take its toll. We're going to we're going to aim for the stars and we're going to try and be up front and go the opposite. We're going to try and stay up front and stay out of the wrecks and just try and stay in the lead or in the top four or five. That's our goals. So and then on the truck side, um, it's been kind of a reality show here the last few weeks we've had our shop burned down at Raymond brothers racing and yeah. our, our trucks are locked in there by the insurance company we couldn't get oh. our truck out so we had to go lease the truck and we, have, we haven't even seen the truck yet it gets here it's here the, but we unload it tomorrow morning um we got 20 25th plates place points position so we have a fairly good points position for uh getting in on a provisional so if we don't get in on speed we should be in on a provisional but again i've never even sat in this truck i've never even seen it so we're, we're gonna see it tomorrow and see what it looks like and, and see how it goes <laughs> yeah well let's let's quickly talk about about what that truck is going to look like um yeah. it's got a nice it's a nice livery that's a great tribute um to the to the mooresville fire rescue department um yeah. I think that's that truck's gonna look. It's gonna look hot on track. Uh, but yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> but uh, what? Uh, it's a it's a Ford F one fifty. What's the that's what's the know. McClure yeah. Racing? Uh, no, that's in the Arca. So it's Ray- Rayum Brothers Racing number thirty four in the truck. No, no, no. Sorry. What? What is it? A it's an Impala for the McClure Racing, right? Oh the yes, 44. yeah, yeah. It's a Chevy. It's a Chevy. Yeah, yeah. yeah Chevy Impala. Awesome. You bet. Okay, well, I mean, you know, it sounds like you're going there to win. It sounds like you guys are really done your homework. Um, what? How many do? You, how many are going for the truck race? Because you got to qualify in on time, right? In the truck race, we got to qualify in on time. But then we, like I said, we do have 25th place points, which right. would put us right in the middle of the provisional world. So nice. we'll 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 most likely get a provisional. Um, we'll be you know. A couple things can happen where some trucks that are way in the, you know, not supposed to have good runs, have like amazing runs and qualify yeah. in, uh, in the top 25. It's very slim, but it can happen, you know, so we got to be ready for it. Racing. That, that comes our way. Yeah. Okay. So let's move. We're definitely excited about this, but we kind of want to move back a little north just to kind of see, peak everybody's interest. Anything for 23 in the Pinty series? Um, yeah, I've had a few conversations. Um, I've, I've, it looks like I, I have an opportunity to possibly do the Toronto Indies. Um, and uh, I, it doesn't look like out west. Out west looks like uh, all the rides are full, which is good. Sounds like there's going to be a pretty good car can, count and uh, a lot of full-time, full-time teams. So that's really good for the sport, the series. And, you know, my, my heart and soul has, has been in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series and the NASCAR Pinty Series for a long time. And I want nothing more than that that series to be very successful. So yeah. that's that's a good thing. And, and uh, yeah, I, I, my intentions are always to see if I can make it work and, uh, and, and do some Pinty's racing. So that's definitely in the cards. It's not uh, not something that I've said I'm done with yet. Um, right. So we'll we'll see how it goes. And like I said, I, I really like the Toronto Indy. So we'll try and uh, we'll try and get to that one. It's a, the track is a lot of fun to race. The venue is really cool. The people are really cool. So you know that's one that I'd really like to do. And, and you know, like I'm on I'm on the simulator all the time at CCMP. So mm. I would I would take a race at CCMP again as well. I, I love racing mm. there as well. How could you not? You know, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah classic yeah, track, for, especially in Canada. That's one of our our gems there. And hey, yeah, we've as a NASCAR Pinties fan, we've definitely missed you uh, the past couple of seasons. And yeah, that would be great to see you in Toronto. It's a great event, and especially as you said for the sport, you know, we're all, we all just love the sport, and we're all we're all hoping that it's going to get better. Anything, any other tracks you're looking forward to potentially maybe running in, in 23? There's the Big O. There's a couple of races of Big O this season. Just dirt maybe on your mind? 
I, you know what? I started on dirt when I was 15 years old, so I could do a dirt race if there's an opportunity there. That's definitely something that I would entertain. Um, probably Ooh. do some racing at Penticton Speedway. Um, out at the Rattler 300, most likely, we'll find a way to get in there. I just got to find a better car. Uh, last year, I kind of brought a plastic butter knife to a gunfight, so <laughs> I got to get... Uh, I got I to gotta get myself in a good car. Um, I, I drove the wheels off of it for the first 100 laps, but I literally drove the wheels and brakes off of it. So I got to find something that I can, uh, I, can, I can have a little bit more competition and be more competitive with. But uh, So some of that and maybe a little bit of RS1 racing. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe looking at putting some uh, other drivers in my RS1 car. Um, I'm big on development and I'm big on uh, you know young blood in the sport. So might look at doing that with, a, with an RS1 car that my family owns and being involved with that and maybe start transitioning a little bit into some uh, ownership stuff as well. And I mean, that's going to be the next step in my career is ownership mm-hmm. and, and stuff. So we well, really we cool. might dabble into that a little bit too. Yeah. That'd be really well, exciting that, to see. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and also, you know, sorry. And ahead. also, you know, you, who knows what you might hear for another Arca or another, uh, truck or a cup ride i mean over the years you you like to you do a towel day again and even during covid there you were you're running at the road course there at daytona uh yeah obviously you're always open to some other stuff in those series as well throughout the season uh taldega would be hopefully on the the list there's an opportunity on the opportunity on the table here for um atlanta atlanta's now a restrictor plate race yeah that'd be uh, really cool we just we got to see how we do here this weekend, and if we do well and we keep the doors on it, um, where we're, there's a very, very, very good chance that we could be Atlanta in a few weeks to uh, to run the truck race there, and then most likely we'll be at Talladega. Depends on how points are and uh, things like that, but uh, yeah, most most likely we'll be at Talladega. That's awesome to hear. Um, that's so cool. I really hope. We really hope that you that you do that. Um, can I ask who you may be running with at Toronto Indy? Um, who are you talking to? You don't have to say. I just uh, I have I, to I ask. Have, it's I, in I, the I, works. I might, I might have been talking to might have been talking to Action Jackson a little bit, but oh. uh, we'll see. Hey, that'd be a good tag team there. Hey. <laughs> oh, that would be really cool. Okay, uh, Larry. Well. Larry and I get along really well, and you know, Larry was down here with me a couple of years ago when I finished sixth and tenth at Daytona, and he was helping me out. There's, if there's opportunities there, we'll definitely look into them, and That's we'll definitely cool. see if we can make it work for sure. Well, he'll really like the the livery you're running or paint scheme you're running this weekend, no doubt. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> um, real yeah. real quick before we wrap it here, um, you're you're in the last few laps, either in the ARCA race or the truck race. Ten, let, Let's say 10, 10 to go. You're around the top 10. You, you want to make a move. Where are you making a move? You're going down low. You stay in the middle. You're going high. You know, last year I made a mistake, and, and, and it was a mistake that I was coming out of four, coming to the white flag, and Ty Majeski was on the bottom, and he was smoking, and I thought he was blowing up. It turns out it was a it was a tire rub, which really sucks because I wanted to stay on the bottom. Mm. But I thought he was blowing up, so I went to the middle, and I went to the middle and made it three wide through the trioval, which everybody says don't ever do. And uh, Matt DiBenedetto – pulled down on me and he went and he, he took my air off my spoiler and I lost all my grip and, and that was the end of that so the answer to that is I will stay on the bottom as long as I possibly can <laughs> that sounds good yeah we'll, we'll, we'll sure be keeping an eye out for that and uh also as well as I try to always listen to the scanner audio of the Canadian <laughs> race car drivers so we'll, we'll be listening to you and uh, I, I, Dexter's also running the Xfinity this weekend so there's lots of Canadian representation down south and you're you're wrapping us. Right on, man. I see Dexter's got some Hendrick horsepower, too. That'll help him get into that race. That's the biggest thing in qualifying here, especially with the Xfinity Series. you gotta, you got to have a good steam engine underneath there. It looks like he's got a looks yeah. like he's got a Hendrick motor, so that's good for him. And I hope, uh, hope we can uh, cheer on Dexter on Saturday night and get him in the race. Yeah, we were we spoke with him last week or two weeks ago, and and he was he seemed very excited about that Hendrick motor, and that that's awesome. You know, Jason, we're gonna get you on at another point in this year when you're not so busy. Uh, if you would love would like to come on, we'd love to have you come on because sure. you, you're clearly a racing guy, and we want to just talk some more racing with you. Um, good luck no this problem, weekend. Uh, we will be cheering for you and pulling for you here in Canada. Awesome, man. Thank you guys very much. And 
yeah, it, it, it's all about Canada, man. Canada racing. We're down here at Daytona. We'll see what me and Stuart Friesen and Dexter Stacy and Alex Labby, what we can do to make you guys proud. Thanks, yeah, man. Thank you. Can't wait. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Have man. Stay night. safe. Have a good one.